Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry we're going to talk about the atom. Um, so, introduction to the atom. Today's essential question, how are the amounts of each of the subatomic particles determined? All right, we'll start with atoms in general. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Every physical thing that you can think of is made up of atoms. Okay, we're talking about the desk, the table, your pencil, the air, the ground. Pretty much everything except for heat and light are made up of these tiny particles called atoms. And atoms are made up of even smaller particles called subatomic particles. And the three subatomic particles are protons, neutrons, and electrons. You need to know the name subatomic particles and what the three subatomic particles are. And we're going to spend the rest of the lecture talking about protons, neutrons, and electrons. Atoms have two different regions, the nucleus and the outer electron cloud. Right, I'm now going to draw what's going to look like a really ugly picture of an atom. However, it's actually a fairly accurate representation. So let's start with the nucleus. So we'll draw the nucleus in blue here. So the nucleus, color it in nice and dark because it's dense. So this is the nucleus. Um, like what you learn in biology, the nucleus of an atom is in the center of the atom, like the nucleus of a cell is at the center of the cell. However, the nucleus of an atom does not I repeat, does not contain DNA, like the atom, like the nucleus of a cell. Okay. In fact, atoms are so small that DNA is made up of billions of atoms. Okay. All right. So we've got the nucleus. Next, let's draw the outer electron cloud, and this is where it gets really ugly. But believe me, it's actually a fairly accurate representation of an atom. So here, yeah, all this scribbling here is actually the outer electron cloud. All right, so there's the two regions of the atom. The nucleus in the center, nice and dark and dense, and the outer electron cloud, which is that yellow squiggly stuff. All right, next topic, atomic mass. Um, mass, you can think of it as weight, okay, how, how heavy something is. All right, so atoms are really, really, really small. So they have a very small mass. In fact, if we weigh a copper atom, which is a medium-sized atom, not really tiny, a copper atom has a mass of only 1.0552 times 10 to the negative 25th kilograms. Okay, and if you remember your scientific notation, that means a copper atom weighs point zero 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 one zero two five five two kilograms. Okay, so we're talking small, not much mass. Um and because they're so small and it's like a pain to write that many zeros, scientists came up with a unit just for atoms. And that unit is called an AMU, atomic mass units. Okay. And 1 AMU is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative set 27 kilograms. And the carbon atom is the standard for this measurement. All right, let's start discussing the subatomic particles. Remember, the subatomic particles are the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. We'll start with protons. So as you know, I hope, the nucleus is the center of an atom. And protons live in the nucleus. Protons have a positive charge. Protons are positive. Um, the symbol for a proton, in fact, is P plus. Okay? Protons are positive. Protons are also very large. Now, I know that probably sounds a little weird because how could protons be large when atoms are small? What I mean is they are large compared to the size of electrons, okay? So in reality, they're tiny, but when you look at them, if you lived in atom world, if you were the size of an atom, protons would be really big. So um, in fact, their mass, how much they weigh is about is one, one AMU 
um, which is 200 times greater than the mass of an electron. All right, next up, um, the next subatomic particle is the neutron. Neutrons are also found in the nucleus. Neutrons are neutral. Okay, they have no charge. Neutrons are neutral. So they are, and we symbolize them as N um, with a zero, meaning no charge. Neutrons are also large compared to the size of electrons. Um, they have also, they're about the same size as a proton, also having a mass of about one AMU. Okay, the third subatomic particle is the electrons. Unlike the proton and the neutron, electrons do not live in the nucleus. They are found outside the nucleus in the electron cloud. Okay. And electrons are negatively charged. And when you write them as a symbol, it's E negative for electrons. And electrons are tiny. They are very, very small. They are um, 200 times smaller than a proton. Um, and we basically, their mass is so small, it's negligible. Okay, so an example is, if I were to get on a scale and weigh myself, and let's say the scale said, said 120, and then I picked up a feather. Think of the feather as being the electron. I pick up the feather and get back on the scale. Do you think the scale is going to change? Or is it going to still say 120? It's still going to say 120 because the feather is so much lighter than me, it basically doesn't make a difference. The feather does indeed have a mass, but it's so small, it just doesn't really count. Okay. And for now, that's all we're going to talk about for electrons. In fact, for the rest of the unit, we're hardly going to touch electrons. Not because they're not very important, but because they are so important, they get a whole unit to themselves.